finally on the program, Cote d'Ivoire is the world's top cocoa grower and is one of the largest robust producers. Artist Hurich Abe uses coffee and cocoa powder to make his paintings as he pays homage to Africa's greatest leaders with two of the country's top commodities. Take a look. Ulrich Abe is putting finishing touches on his latest masterpiece, a portrait of celebrated former Burkina Faso president, Thomas Sankara. Like in all his paintings, Abe fuses paint with two unusual ingredients, coffee and cocoa powder. The 29-year-old artist first discovered this unique technique when an art teacher encouraged students in his class to experiment a bit more by introducing other elements in their artwork apart from paint. The son of coffee farmers and a coffee lover himself, it didn't take much to convince Abe to incorporate cocoa and coffee in his work. My mother and father are coffee farmers, and I grew up in an environment where we drank a lot of coffee. It brought all of us together, and those are the memories that inspire me. Abe's latest series of works features some of Africa and the world's greatest leaders, such as Congo's Patrice Lumumba or American civil rights activist Martin Luther King. To give his paintings a unique signature finish, Abe not only uses coffee and cocoa, but often adds latex, clay and sand, among other materials. Through my work, I pay tribute to farmers and to all the unseen people who work hard to give us two of the country's most valuable commodities at the core of our economy, which is the message that I convey in my work. At the same time, and paying tribute to all the great people who mark the history of Africa and of the rest of the world. Abe explores different themes through his art, such as cultural identity and migration. Abe's paintings sell for $520 and above, and he plans to hold his first exhibition in September this year.